I've got a few different concepts about dominance that I'd like to briefly discuss. We've seen before that in the normal situation, if you have an organism that has two wild type copies of a gene, that individual would be wild type. And the way that we determine the dominance between that allele and a second allele, say minus, which has some sort of a mutant phenotype, if we want to know if the plus or the minus is dominant, we make a heterozygote and we ask what's the phenotype. So this is the process of simple dominance that we test here. And if we discover, for example, that this heterozygous individual is wild type, that tells us that plus is dominant to minus, and we've got our answer. Now there's another situation in which you can have a homozygote wild type, plus over plus, and you can have the minus over minus individual be mutant. And then you can also have the heterozygote show the mutant phenotype. Still, however, in the situation where plus is not simply dominant to minus, but where there's a different interaction between those two alleles, and this is called haploinsufficiency. And what this concept means, at its most simple, is that the reason that in simple dominance, a heterozygote carrying one mutant copy of a gene is wild type is because they still have one chromosome that has the normal gene on it, which presumably produces the normal protein and it works as it normally would to produce the enzyme or structural protein or whatever it may be to help the organism function. But there are some cases in which having just half of the gene products be normal and half be abnormal or mutant causes that organism not to be able to develop normally. And so we have haplosufficiency, where it's sufficient for you to be haploid, have one copy of the protein. That's where we see wild type under simple dominance in a heterozygote. But heterozygotes, when there is haploinsufficiency, will show the mutant phenotype. So I just wanted to leave that with you. That's the concept of haploinsufficiency, a type of dominance interaction.